Hello and welcome to Get the Word in Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He's good all of the time and worthy to be praised. He's the Most High God, El Elyon, El Che, the living God who loves you with a true agape love. He wants to pour it in your heart, write it on your mind, and keep your heart and mind in perfect peace because He is who He is. He's the creator of the world and everything that there is in it seen or not seen, heard yet not heard. The Lord is the one who created it all. And he loves us. He he loves us and he was he loves what he's made. He he loves what he blew his breath in in the very beginning. And he still loves us today. He wants to help us and strengthen us. He wants to give us wisdom and knowledge. He wants to give us understanding. He wants to take care of the brokenhearted and set the prisoner free. And I mean free in your heart, free in your mind. That no matter what's going on in our lives, there's no grief nor sorrow that Jesus didn't bear. Jesus bore the grief and the sorrow of the whole entire world the whole entire world of everyone who would ever be born he's brought us into the presence of the father he has given us peace this world that we're walking through will not always be as it is the thing that you're going through will not always be what it looks like because sin is in this world sin has a time limit it has a time limit, and that limit is almost up. Don't worry. Jesus is coming back for his bride. Jesus is coming back for his bride. And let's make ourselves ready. We're, we're the, the church of, of Christ, the called out ones, the ones who were set apart for his purpose. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord, everyone who heard his sound and, and came running, limping, crawling, however it is you came in, to know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who died and rose again for us. Yes, let me correct myself, for the whole entire world. Because it includes everybody who will say yes. I believe that Jesus is the Lord. I believe that God is. I believe that Jesus is the Lord. I believe that he died and rose again. It's, this is for everyone who would believe. This is the way to real freedom. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the way to real life, a fruitful life, a full life, a life of peace, a life of love, a life of joy, a life of laughter. One day there's going to be no more sin, sickness, or death. We'll be with the Lord forever. He's going to bring in the new kingdom and the new earth. <laughs> well, right. <laughs> and we will walk with him. We'll have things to do. We'll be able to live life without sin and the effects of sin. What we're walking through right now is a world laid in wickedness, a, a world that's laden with the nature of sin. Everyone who's born is born into this wicked nature. We're born into a world where there is death, there is sickness, there is sorrow. And it affects our physical body. It affects our, the people around us. It affects our nervous system. And yet we have to learn how to stay in God. He's with us, but we have to stay in Him. Stay in His love and understand that His love is, is prospering you. It's bringing you into a higher level of faith. It's bringing you into that place where, what did Jesus say? Now, build your treasure in heaven. Into a place where you can triumph by doing good. Good over evil. It's your choice even today, as we come into this day, to decide to overcome evil with good. No matter how hard our situations in life are. We take that care, that thing that concerns us, and we put it before the Lord, and we take up who He is and lift it above. Lift it above our situation. 
lifted above the thoughts of our mind. This is this place where we take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ, where we submit to God and don't let anything be Lord over us. Don't let anything make us a slave to it. But we take our, our body, we take our, our mind, will, and emotions, and we put it before the Lord. We say, here, here Lord, here I am. And we, we look for that word. We look for his word to come in and, and just rise up. We take that word and we apply it to our lives. We hold on to it, meditate on it, drink it, eat it. Because see, whatever word comes from the Lord's mouth is a word that we will live by. We will thrive by. We will have life and life more abundantly by. He wants to quicken us, make us alive in his agape love. He wants to make us alive in his agape love. All I know, you see, is that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, he is greater than we are. We're small and we're insignificant in the universe. I want to say in the cosmos of this, this planet. But the Lord saw fit to give these small, insignificant objects that are tender. That our flesh is like so squishy. We can't even protect ourselves when we're born. Everything outside of us is stronger than we are. Everything, even a roach outlives us. I'm just saying that there are spiritual beings in the atmosphere that we cannot see that are greater beings than we are in this flesh. But God called us small, insignificant beings, not insignificant to him. He called us and brought us into his house. And we are spiritually strong and we are spiritual beings in a physical body because of him. Look at the power. The, the Spirit of God is the power of Christ that raised Jesus from the dead. Those words that he believed that the Father said, the words that he is, had the power to raise him from the dead. Our words need to become his words. Come sit down in the Lord today. Sit in the secret place. Get in that place where you can grow and be strengthened in the inner man so that you can get over the situation, that circumstance that has been preventing you from living life, that has paralyzed you in the mind. It's not all we think about. We have life and peace through the Lord Jesus Christ. But it all takes us submitting ourselves to God. Submitting ourselves to the Lord and saying, what did you say about this? And keeping that word that he reminds you of in your remembrance. Doing something good today instead of meditating on the evil that is in the day. The Lord is with you. Matthew chapter 6, 32 and 33. We seek first the kingdom of God. He'll perform that thing that concerns us. But we have to first know that he is with us and he knows us. Keep on with that labor of love that you've been doing. But find a way to enter that rest of God. Enter into the word of God. Labor hard to enter into the word of God. And that word, hmm, when I'm saying that, I'm saying Labor hard to enter into faith with God. Whatever he said, that's what we do. That's what we lean on. That's what we meditate on. Faith toward God is everything. And you're in the peace of God. <laughs> labor hard to enter into the rest of God, which is by faith. We labor by faith in whatever God said and the peace of God will keep your heart and mind.
Because if we come to him, like it says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, if we come to him with all prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, making our requests known to God, right? It's him who will keep us in perfect peace. It's what he said that's going to stimulate your heart. That's going to strengthen you in your heart. That's going to cause your soul to prosper. Because we're taking the soul, this mind, will, and emotions of ours, and we're laying it down in the hand of the Lord. We're trusting him. We're entrusting him to do what he promised he would do. And he's faithful if we would just stand on that word in our, in our thinking. When I say stand, I mean in our thinking. Stand on the word today. Meditate on it. Grab hold of what is for you. You're going to overcome this thing. Because it's not by might nor by power. It's not by your might or your power. It's by faith in the in the Father who created the world and all that there is in it. Faith in the Son who came and saved us. It's faith in the blood of Jesus. It's faith in the name of Jesus that's above every name. And that faith is knowing the Father. The faith is knowing the Son. The faith is trusting Him. Now take that word he's given you and meditate on it I like to say eat it and drink it like Jesus said eat my eat my meat and drink my blood but really get into this love connection with God he wants to give you a new heart and a new mind and it's available if we would just lay ourselves out before him lay the situation out and pick up what he said about it if he's going to close the door, then he'll close it. And if he's going to open a door, he'll open it. But have faith toward God that he'll work everything together. He'll work it out for your good. Because you've been called by his name. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson at Get the Word in Your Face International. Get the Word in Your Face and be filled with his life. With his life. And you'll soar above the clouds. You'll soar in the spirit. Bye-bye.